Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing your reading for the balance days of August. So from 20th to the 31st of August, okay? All right, now Sagittarius, before I start, let me explain you a few things. Uh, firstly, how you should look into a chart. You should see a chart from, um, you know, in the reverse order. Why? Let me explain it to you. When you're seeing your chart by your sun sign, what happens is you're seeing yourself or your readings or your outcome at a soul level. Now, you may not be leaving or leading your soul life, you know, because that's deep down something that you feel. That's deep down something that you perceive. But you may be completely a different person in the outside world. So your sun shines on the house which enlightens your soul. So let's say your sun is in Sagittarius. So what is your soul's craving? Your soul's craving will be spirituality. Your soul's craving would be uh, knowledge. Your soul's craving would be expanding to uh, different horizons, traveling, okay, because you are ruled by Jupiter and that's a big planet that expands, okay, as time passes by, you would want more knowledge, more insight, more in-depth knowledge about whatever you're doing, but you may not be that in the outside world, outside world, you could be somebody very cutthroat, very, uh, you know, only talking about work. But whenever you are in your mood and when you are you are happy, then that soul comes out. I mean, let's say you are a very tough boss. So one day, you know, you are two drinks down. You're sitting with very close friends and maybe a few colleagues, and somebody starts talking about spiritualism, and you join in, and they are surprised by the knowledge you have. That is your soul level. So unless you are somebody who is very well connected to your soul and living your soul purpose or your soul path, then sun sign might resonate with you, but the outcomes or what you got to do may not. Okay? Now we come to your moon sign. Moon is a mother. Moon is your nourishment. So moon is usually 4,000 is ruled by the moon. So moon is where your, how your inner peace has been, where you find happiness, peace. You could be living in a penthouse, but your happiness lies in the woods. So you're very happy when you're out in the woods. But every day in your daily life, you cannot be out in the woods. You have to drive to work, come back, <clears throat> do your work, you know, guide people, interact with people who may not be, you may not feel emotionally connected. So you take vacations and sometimes just want to be left alone. So moon is your fourth house. Moon means your house. Moon is your mother. Moon is how you think. So sometimes those tarot videos, if you see them by your moon sign, you will see, uh, yes, I was thinking this way. But they may not again physically manifest. Because that is what you were thinking. You may not be acting that. You could be thinking, right now I want to go to the park and fly balloons. But actually you are in the middle of a presentation in a boardroom. So, your thought, a tarot card reader says you want freedom, you want to leave everything, you want to go out. But really, you, it's not the time you can really afford to do that. Okay, you can never go out and fly balloons because you are out in a seminar and you're giving a speech. So you cannot be flying balloons there. But your heart wants it, your mind wants it, your moon sign wants it. Okay, so next comes your ascension, your rising. Rising is where you're taking your actions and reactions to situations and people and places. So if you are in office, you behave by certain rules or the office decorum. If you are at home, you have certain rules. If you are the one who is running the household or the sole decision maker, then you it's your set of rules. Then your moon sign and your uh, rising sign actions will match. But if you are 
still living with your parents, you know, you're still studying, you haven't moved out of home, or you're living with your spouse who takes care of everything, you're still learning, okay, you could be 15, 16, yet to move out from your home. So in that case, your ascending sign will depend, your actions or outcomes will depend on your ascending sign, your rising sign. The way you are physically, the way you behave physically, that is your rising sign. Okay, so you should see it in reverse order. You should see your rising first because that determines the actions that you're taking every day and what changes you should make in your actions. Then you should see it by your moon sign and see if that is making sense to, you know, the actions that you did. Because sometimes we are angry on somebody, but the action we take is not going and saying, hey, I'm angry with you. But instead, what we do is we stop talking to them. Or we connect with somebody who is their enemy. So there, our mind and our actions are different. So our ascending will do something. Our rising, our moon sign will make us think something. And then if you are in your spiritual journey <coughs> and you're awakened very much spiritually and spiritually whatever you think or you know is what goes on in your mind, so your moon sign, sun sign is a parity, then go watch your sun sign. Okay? That is how you should. I would be teaching all these astrological small tidbits for laymen uh, in the coming month. There will be small videos um, which will not involve any card reading nothing just talking about astrology so that you understand yourself very well uh, so that after that when you're watching any tarot video or any astrology video of any reader or reading anything you can relate it to your chart your world yourself okay all right now coming to today's reading you will not find me please because i was out and i was busy in some work in personal engagement so i couldn't do the weekly readings and I didn't want to do them in a hurry. So today I'm going to do, I'm going to change the pattern. There's going to be love reading this side. There's going to be general this side. Okay, so we are going to see both the aspects. Sometimes the general could also be talking about love and, uh, you know, it could be also affecting it because that's general. That will affect irrespective if you have love or no love in your life. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So let's get started. Show me the messages for Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, this is you. This is the other person, and this is the outcome. And for general, This is what is happening around you. This is what you got to do. And this would be the outcome. Okay, the likable outcome. All right, so before I start, we're going to pull up some messages first and see what we have for you first before we open the cards. Sagittarius, in love, what message do you have for them? All right. Time to shine creates the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. So Sagittarians, if you're single, you could be connecting with somebody at this time. Or if you are in a committed relationship, maybe a relationship will improve at this time. Okay? And for work, little luxuries generates luxurious experiences and surroundings. So you could be taking a small vacation, going out, buying something. Something little, but it's luxurious, okay? Something that you like. Maybe a piece of jewelry. Maybe a new book. Maybe something. You just renovated your kitchen. Something like that, okay? Some little luxuries or surroundings. Maybe you just had some plants in your room and now they look so pretty. Okay, now let's see your love life. As I said, this tarot, this can completely flip. So this is you, this is the other person. Cross watches, this can this part can very well be you. 
And for some of you, this could completely reverse. So this could be the other person. This could be you, Sagittarius. Take it as it resonates with you. Now you. Uh, the page of earth. Okay. <clears throat> the other person is the seven of air. And the outcome is the emperor. Very nice. So Sagittarius, I see you shining here too. Why? Because this is your time to shine. Look at the other person. The other person is confused, okay? Whatever plans they had, they need to revise that. Or they had bad timing. They said something very at the very wrong time. Or they did something very stupid at a wrong time. Or whatever they're planning, they're doing it at a very wrong time. Okay? Very wrong time. Or they need to revisit their plan. Maybe they are planning a vacation for you. And only after they book the ticket, they come and surprise you only to know that you have a convocation that time and you cannot go. So the, this is the problem with the other person. You, on the other hand, you are somebody who is very patient, very successful right now, very dependable. You are like the Mr. Dependable or Miss Dependable. And there is something in work area that you're doing, which is to do with financial matters. You know, you have found something. Maybe you are trying to learn something. You could be studying. So you could be, you know, just starting a new um, session, a new semester. Or you could have just enrolled in something new and you're learning something. Okay, you're in the learning phase. The other person, on the other hand, maybe feels that you're not giving time or Maybe you, because they didn't do anything, so you are kind of avoiding them. So they might go ahead and do something which you cannot take up happily at this point of time because you're busy somewhere else. You know, you're thinking about work. You're thinking about your own stability. You're thinking about growing. And as I said, this person comes in with some stupid plan. I mean, this person, the other person needs to revise their plan. They need to understand, they need to understand you are quiet not because you are angry on them. You are quiet because you are busy in something else. They have to understand that. And they need to revisit their plan or it's bad timing for them. They are coming and poking you at a wrong time because this is your time to shine. This is your time to rise and show the world the real you. Maybe you have an important examination coming. You're doing a certification. Something. That doesn't mean that you don't love this person. That doesn't mean that you, you don't want to be in the relationship. Just that you're busy somewhere else. So you know, you're not able to give time. But this person is getting mixed signals. Is getting a different signal. So they're trying to do something. They are also doing things, you know, to better the relationship. But whatever they're doing is not fulfilling it's going in a waste okay it's futile so they need to think reevaluate and then do okay because you are getting some opportunities right now in personal or uh, professional high likely in professional and you would like to focus on that first before focusing on your emotional things what is coming towards you is the emperor. Now this means again organization and logic and discipline and common sense. Okay. This means leadership. This means structure. So you are the one who is going to bring that in the relationship. Maybe you're going to talk to this person and say, hey, you know what? I know I've, be, I've not been able to give you time. I haven't been able to spend you know quality time with you or talk to you every day or pay attention to what you were saying but uh, or i may not be able to join you in in that trip to vegas that is because not because i don't love you or i'm not attracted to you or i don't want to be with you but at this point of time this is more important i have to finish my certification or i've already enrolled this is my first semester first month so I have to attend all my classes maybe next month so next time you're making a plan don't surprise me just tell me plan it out with me 
So you're going to put some logic in the relationship. You're going to plan the relationship. You're going to put organization in the relationship because you could be connecting with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody who, you know, who is so up in the air. They could do something very immature. They could even throw temper tantrums thinking that you are going to give in. But you right now are not thinking of relationships. You kind of feel stable in the relationship. You're not thinking of relationship because you don't want them. It's because you want your own stability first. And if you're single, again, you are so busy in yourself. You're so thinking about your security, your stability, your everything, that the other person who's coming towards you, again, as I said, bad timing, comes and proposes you when you're just not ready. Or you are not expecting this. Or maybe you were meeting that person, you know, for, for some work or uh, for some suggestion and this person ends up proposing you and you're taken aback because you were not thinking about relationship or you are not thinking about relationship for the next seven days maybe or next 15 days because you're busy, you have an a consignment, you have an assignment to finish and submit. Maybe you're doing your final project and this person comes and so you take it as a distraction. So I don't see you cutting them short, but what I see you doing is bringing structure in the relationship, making things very clear that, okay, we are going to go out, but on this date, okay, if we are going to talk, we are going to talk for, for between this hour to this hour a day, not every time. The, I cannot be on phone because then I need to focus on my work. You're going to bring in that logic, that organization, organized Mm, you know, uh, stuff in your relationship, okay? That is happening with you in your love life. That is because this is your time. This is your time to shine. You have to focus on your own development right now. And what is coming towards you in general are little luxuries. So you are getting some experience, some new experience. Maybe for some of you, you're traveling for the first time out of your city. Or this could be your first job. Or this could be the first time you moved out from your family and you started living alone. And here comes somebody just wants to move, wants that you to move in with them. And you're like, hey, you know what? I just moved out of my home. Let me enjoy my freedom, my own self for the next six months. And then you be there with me. If you and I gel well, then yeah, I can move in with you. Such kind of thing. Now let's see what we have in general. The king of air. Okay. What you got to do is five of air. And the outcome is a star. So again, you could be connecting with an air sign because there's too many airs and there's Aquarius here. Okay. So firstly, Sagittarius, I think it's, it's like a, your work. And your general life and your love life is almost going on the same platform. Okay? So you are being very diplomatic at this point of time. You are saying whatever you're saying, you're speaking with a lot of confidence. Okay? You're trying to balance your physical, emotional, mental things. And you're trying to reach a middle path. You want your career, you want your growth, but at the same time, you want this person too. So you're kind of being very diplomatic, being very professional about your decision, very logical about your decisions. Coming to a logical, again, the emperor energy. So this, so you could be, you know, for you, it will be good if you can take some uh, professional advice at this point of time. Because if you want to encourage your growth and everything, then maybe you need a mentor. You can ask for somebody in your organization. If this is your first job, go for a mentor. It's a good idea. They will tell you because there will be too many things coming your way. So it kind of feels overbearing. You don't know which one to start, how to do it without disturbing anybody by trying to keeping, ev you're trying to keep everybody happy. Relation, profession, everybody happy. 
at the same time you want little good good little things for yourself so what you got to do is you have to take some advice maybe a good friend who can advise you somebody senior somebody experienced or you have to speak with confidence whatever you do you have to make the decision with confidence what you need to do is the five of air so this is about motives of others review what others are trying to do for you or tell you what is the motive behind it if they're discouraging you why are they discouraging you if they are encouraging you why are they encouraging you don't take everything on face value because if you do then that would end up being an unwise decision sometimes you will have friends who will just say oh go ahead with this this is so good oh go ahead and invest here oh start doing this you do not because you trust them and you want them to be happy too you do not weigh the pros and cons you do not think of the motive behind why this person is also gaga and also jump uh, why this person is jumping for you to make or take that decision you don't check the motive you just get carried away only to realize that was an unwise choice so what you need to, this is like the five of swords okay so whatever situations are unfolding in front of you for good or for bad review the motive behind it if your partner your boyfriend your girlfriend is acting erratic and throwing temper tantrums look into their motive why are they throwing temper tantrums why are they acting erratic is it because they need your attention or is it because they're feeling insecure or is it because there's some other reason okay if somebody is saying that they're down with flu and they want you to you know head straight to their place and they want to see you or they want to meet you try to review their motive is it because you know they want to get you and that's the strategy they have so this is poor timing then because you would be taking off from work you have to build up a lot of excuses you have to only to go there to realize nothing has happened the person was trying to fool you okay so look into everyone's motives why anybody is doing anything for you for good or for bad if somebody is trying to pep you up why they're trying to pep you up if somebody is trying to demotivate you why they're demotivating you look into their motive don't see it from your angle see it from their angle okay then you'll get the result then you'll make the right decision and what is coming towards you is a star so actually good times happy times like i said little luxuries so you have to stay positive you have to stay optimistic you know because you're doing the right thing you're on the right path you're bringing structure to your relationships you're bringing structure to your work you're giving structure to yourself you're grooming yourself so gradually you'll move towards these little luxuries maybe you'll get your first bonus you'll get your first little gift you'll get your first time your your boyfriend or your girlfriend sharing you with importance <clears throat> and you kind of enjoy it so whatever is happening is happening for very good so both the outcomes even in love <coughs> and in your personal relationship both major arcanas both very good one is the emperor one is the star so one is number 4 stability one is number 8 continuity so stability and continuity is coming towards you provided you are optimistic enough you stay and go towards where you're going don't deviate don't get carried away by people and their plans okay all right sagittarius this is what i have for you for this period i'll be out soon with the september monthly videos until then you can start implementing this and if you want to know more or you want detailed vedic report i'll be starting something soon in my website it's not yet updated but if you want a detailed vedic report now remember that would take about 7 to 10 days commitment from your end as well as from my end 
because we are going to discuss each chart. There are 12 charts in Vedic. So we are going to discuss each chart and see your life from 360 degree, right? From your career to your, you know, from the time you're born to the day you leave this body, okay? You're going to see all that. So that would need you to be patient and me to be working on it. So if you want a detailed Vedic report, you can email me for now. And for other readings, the prices that are there in the website continue like this for the month of September. October onwards, the prices are revised. Some readings will stay, some will go. Okay? So, have a good time. Whatever you need or whatever queries you have, always drop in a comment or drop in a mail. And I'll be happy to answer. All right, Sagittarius. I'll see you next time. Till then, bye.